Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today for another video. Probably, let's face it, the last video I'm going to create for the next few weeks or next month or so. So it might be a bit quiet on my channel. Um, I don't know if by now I've had my baby, but I'm very close to it. Um, and I would like, look, I know when I mention this, Ever, the, like the response is always take as much time as you want don't worry about your channel don't worry don't have the pressure blah, blah, blah. and I, I appreciate that but I don't feel pressure to upload on this channel I do it because I enjoy it so I'm creating this content because it's something I enjoy doing also while we're in isolation and whatnot it's really nice having something to actually do so uh, if I am back in the next couple of weeks or if I'm doing uh, April favorites and I'm coming back in another two weeks with another video it's project pan update or whatever it happens to be if I am back in the next few weeks it's because I want to be back and it's an outlet that I enjoy doing so um, yeah I know there's going to be people that are like mummy shaming that but you know in isolation when you're stuck at home you know partner's home if I want to create a video here and there it's because I want to do it not because I feel pressured to do it so just wanted to clarify that. So yeah, what I'm doing today is a video that I don't think I've done ever really, um, but I wanted sort of like a quick, easy sort of video to do. I've been cleaning up my makeup collection. I did a bit of a clean out with my nail polishes and I thought I'd show you my sort of top colors of nail polish I like to wear. So I do like to wear nail polish quite a lot. Um, and uh, there are sort of colors that I really, really enjoy and brands that I really, really enjoy. So I thought I'll just show you my favorites. I also noticed by cleaning out my nail polishes that I don't really like, I don't really like metallics. I don't really like glitters too much. I like them on other people, but on me, it just feels weird. Um, I don't really like super dark nail polishes and I don't really like too many nudes or pastels. So I'm more of a, like a cream bright person, like a creme finish bright person. But anyway, I thought I'll just tell you the ones that I like the most and, and why. But before I do get on to the colors, I thought I'd talk about the sort of uh, top and base coats that I tend to wear. So if I'm going for normal nail polish, I really like the Kester Black. Um, so this base coat is the Miracle Treatment Base Coat. Um, it's got a bit of pearlescence to it and it's also a treatment base coat. So um, if I sometimes I just use this on my just naked nails and I know it's sort of like a treatment but it also gives a little bit of a shine to the nails which is quite nice I like this under nail polish I like it under gel polish if I don't want to use a gel base so that's one I really like to use um, and then I like to pair that also with a supersonic top coat so that's one you can see I've used quite a bit um, and I like to use this just with normal nail polish I find it does extend the wear normal nail polish for me look it will start chipping within 24 to 48 hours but this will prolong it by a bit so I think it is a really good top coat and it does dry pretty fast so that's one that I do enjoy if I'm using gels I like to use the OPI um, this is the base coat and the top coat so that's what I tend to use if I'm doing an at-home gel polish but more commonly what I like to do because it gives me more versatility is I like to use this Kester Black treatment base coat then I use two coats of nail polish. I let that dry completely, completely, completely like overnight. And then the next day I'll put two coats of the OPI gel top coat on it, which makes it last a really long time. So that's what I've done with my nail polish today. Um, I've had this on for about a week. This is normal nail polish, but it's got two coats of gel on the very top, which sort of seals it in and makes it act a bit like a gel. So that's probably more commonly what I do um, because it's a really good way to extend the wear of a normal nail polish um, and not have like it still is a hassle to remove you still have to like file the top coat off and sort of soak it off but it sort of makes a normal nail polish act like a gel which is great all right so the nail polishes I wear the most are actually brights I really like brights and these are some colors that I really 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 enjoy so um, the one that I'm wearing today is this one here. It's gorgeous. It's the shade Terrarium by Kester Black. And I do have a lot of nail polishes that are sort of this kind of color. Um, an example of a gel one that I have that's similar is this uh, Raku color gel. And you can see the top color is quite similar. It's just a little bit more muted. This is a little bit more vibrant. I also have some like darker colors 
in this sort of color story from Kester Black. I have some more sort of pastel-y colors from other brands. So this is my favorite color story when it comes to nail polish, like the color sort of family. Um, but this is my favorite version of it because it's the most bright that I've got and I love it. So this is it under two coats of gel. I love it. Oh, and I wanted to mention as well, if you um, don't let your nail polish dry completely, completely, if you put gel on the top, it'll make it like pucker. So you have to make sure that if you're going to wear a normal nail polish and then a gel on top, you have to let it dry completely, like let it dry for like 12 hours, 24 hours. So it doesn't sort of like pucker up, which is strange. Some other brights that I really enjoy using, I sort of like almost neon colors. So what you probably can't see, this Orly is actually a neon orange. So this is the shade uh, Push the Limit. It's beautiful. I love it in summer. It's really, really fun. It does dry down to more of a matte finish. So you do need like a nice glossy top coat over it. Um, but that's a really, really fun color. And I really enjoy it. Like, again, you can, it's hard to see like, but it's a, it's a neon orange. It's great. I also really love sort of orangey red tones. So this is the OPI shade Atomic Orange. So once again, that's a really beautiful sort of vibrant orangey sort of almost corally red color that I like to use under gel. In the warmer months as well, I don't mind a pink and a purple. So we've got a few from Kester Black. Um, this one is the shade Prima Donna and it's almost like a Barbie like knee not quite neon, but it's very very vibrant pink. It's a really really beautiful color it Makes your hands look quite tanned and kind of like fun if I'm going something a little bit more um, Softer I do like the shade my girl Ella, which is again. It's more of a It's like a milky Vibrant pastel pink, which I think is really really pretty So I like that on my toes as well and an oldie but a goodie that I haven't been able to find a good replacement of. I don't have this anymore. Uh, it's in the shade Bougainvillea and it's like my perfect purple. I actually don't like purples in general. Um, I don't wear much purple. I don't like besides maybe eyeshadow. I don't actually wear much purple clothing at all, but I do love this tone of purple. It's like a mute, like a, it's like a lightened blurple color and I just, it's my favorite tone of purple. So um, yeah, if you've seen me wear this, I love it. It's very, very old, but again, under gel polish, it lasts really well. Love, love, love this color. Another purple that I really, really love and I'll have to like do a color swatch because it's a gel, uh, but it's a, a thermal purple color that is from a professional gel brand. So you can't buy it direct to the public, but it's gorgeous. It's in the shade Kimberly. So I'll have to show it to you, but it pretty much um, is this sort of pinky purple shade. And then it goes to this lighter color here, um, which is really, really pretty. And I also love the shade Angelina, which is like a true red, but it's got a bit of an orange tone to it. So it's like the equivalent of MAC Lady Danger lipstick in a, in a gel nail polish form. So if I'm wearing a red, it's always going to be this one. Um, these are a bit more finicky to apply. They're harder to purchase. They're harder to remove, but they do last a long time and they're really, really beautiful colors. So I might swatch these so you can see them. So that color there is Kimberly, which is like a pinky purple and it is a thermal. So um, when it's warm, it goes a lighter color. And that is Angelina. I've compared that to Bougainvillea. So you can see this is a lot more pink. That's a lot more sort of blue toned. And that is that OPI one that I showed you, which is more orangey coral, but those are, they're all beautiful. Then my favorite sort of like muted, and this is not very muted, so forgive me. I like bright, so this is muted for me. But the muted shades that I do like, and I generally pull these out more in winter, um, are these ones here. So I've got an OPI. This is the uh, Infinite Shine 2 Gel Lacquer. So it's just a nail polish. Um, and this is in the shade Reach for the Sky. So this is a really nice sort of um, mix between a gray and a blue. So I do like gray tones, but I find like if they're too greeny or too gray, they sort of, I don't know, they don't feel like me, but if I've got a nice sort of blue tone gray, this took me a long time to find. I was like, I had a color in my head, finally found it. I don't wear it too often because like these pastel colors, I don't really wear, but if I am gonna wear a gray sort of tone, it's gonna be this one because it's a really beautiful color. If I'm gonna wear a nude, I quite like this one from Kester Black. This is in the shade Never Nude. Um, and what I like about it is it's not like a sheer nude. I do quite like sheer nudes, but these days I'm just like, I'll just put my treatment base coat on and just have my normal nails um, rather than a sheer nude. This is more of your sort of, um, 
I don't know, it, it matches a liquid lipstick that I have uh, from Kester Black and it just gives a nice sort of, I don't know, dark nude nail look. So I like this in sort of winter and autumn as well. It's a really beautiful color. And then probably one of my favorite more pastel colors is this uh, sort of light sky blue from graceful nail polish so this is in the shade berry blue this wears really really nicely just with a base coat and a top coat um, and it's a really beautiful sort of again it's like a pastel sky blue but it's quite vibrant and i really love the vibrancy of it so really really beautiful color love this speaking of graceful nail polish um, probably my two other favorites that i've got from them um, are the two glitters that i'll probably wear the most now I really love glitters on other people. I look at them like it's so pretty, but then whenever I wear them, I find it sort of distracting and it doesn't feel like me. So um, I like the more sort of glitter that gives you that sort of solid look, like a one color glitter. Um, my favorite is definitely Rosy Glow, which is this beautiful rose gold glitter, which super, super pigmented. You don't need to um, sponge it on um, two coats and it looks like this, but it almost looks like a sparkly metallic. And I feel like it's just a variation of a nude. So I really, really like this. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, it's a really special nail polish. And then one that I also do like and would go nicely like over this nail polish, for example, um, is this shade um, Chet. So C-H-E-T. Uh, these all come from different collections. So um, they're probably not available anymore but graceful do bring out new collections all the time so there's always something fun to look at i know that this one was a permanent shade um, but these sort of sparkly ones are limited edition shades but this is a blue holographic one and again if i wanted to sort of vamp up this shade a little bit i would put this over the top but it doesn't happen too often because i don't wear glitter very often but i love that tone like that sort of teal turquoise color my favorite nail polish color then the final nail polishes I'm going to talk about are some darker colors. So um, again, I don't really reach for dark colors too often, but I do like them to have some vibrancy. So I've got two that are more traditional dark colors and two that are sort of like vibrant dark colors. Um, so again, this is the shade Monarch from Kester Black. Um, this is a beautiful sort of cobalt blue. It's one of my favorite colors in the whole entire world. Um, it does look quite dark on the nails, but it's a beautiful blue. So yeah, it's gorgeous. I love it. If I want something like lighter, I go for this. If I want something darker, I go for this. Um, what I currently have on my toes at the moment is this guy here, which is the most gorgeous shade of Blurple. Um, this is from Orly and it's a shade um, on the edge. Again, this applies quite dark, so it looks quite blackened, but also vibrant. So it's a really cool color. Um, it does have almost that sort of mattified, not rubberized, but a matte sort of finish to it. So you do need like a glossy top coat to make it really shine and look beautiful. Um, I would love this to be just a smidge lighter so it stands out a little bit brighter. And I'm tempted to put a little bit of a lighter color in there and mix it together, but I don't want to ruin it because it's such a cool color, but it is quite dark. So yeah, if I want a vibrant but dark color, this is a fun one. Like I said, I've got on my toenails now. I like it. And then if I want to go more of your traditional red nail when it comes to dark shades, these are the two that I reach for the most. Uh, I don't know if this one's still available. It's um, by Sally Hansen. It's the Extreme Wear Nail Color and it's in the shade uh, Brick Wall. So it's a really, really beautiful. I think what I like about this is it's, once again, you can tell that it's a red without it looking too blackened, but it's a dark red. So I really, really love this color. But then if I do want to lean into the sort of blackened red and I usually do do this if I've got quite short nails. Um, this is the shade Narcissist from Kester Black. So again, this looks quite dark on the nails. It's a very, very dark color, but it's really fun to pull out in winter. So again, those are probably my top picks on the sort of colors I like to go for throughout the year uh, in nail polish, whether it's neon or whether it's like light, whether it's bright, whether it's dark, whether it's glitter. They're the ones I sort of reach for the most. I am trying to whittle down my collection. I've probably got like four or five times the amount of what I've shown you here. But a lot of the ones that I sort of wear repeatedly are these sort of color stories or things that are similar to it. Um, but yeah, those are the kind of brands I like to use. Those are the sort of colors I like to use. So I will list everything in the description box if you've missed anything. Some of these are probably from limited edition collections. So they're not available anymore or they've been 
discontinued because some of them are quite old but I'd love to know in the comments what your favorite nail polish color is so I love to look up like nail polish like the like the brand and the color and see all the swatches and see what people love so let me know in the comments what your favorite color is and I'll probably be googling it very soon so I'll see you guys in the next one bye